Four stars. A bit far away. It's located in Hudson, New York. Thank you, Michael. I'm back doing another Long John Dream Weird funny long john silvers reviews been a while since i've done one of these you know let's get into it this might be it's a pretty long one do new york it might be in two parts so so i'm gonna try and plug myself at the beginning of the video this time see if that gets any more traction um first off i have twitter and instagram at call me ocean man and twitch at call me the ocean man links in the description and right, we're gonna start off with melville which is in long island one star we'll never go back to this restaurant the pictures say it all Please take a look. Trash where the napkin dispenser is, the fish and chicken was cooked in old oil, and the burnt pieces stuck to the meat. Ketchup packets, maybe some people have spelled with a C, I don't know. Packs were stuck together. Cobwebs on the lighting. The worst was, we waited to see just how long it would take to be served. 12 minutes. I timed it. Good luck there. I guess 12 minutes is a while for fast food. The pictures that say it all? <laughs> This is it. This is the picture they attached to the review. One star. This is the first time I've been to this place. It was terrible. First, you can hardly find it. The second, the fish, the fries are very greasy. The hush puppies tasted old. I will never go back and would not recommend. Gave it one star because I had to. One star. Fish was bland and greasy. There was a metallic taste. Old oil? Yeah. Or blood, you know. At best, both fries... At best, both fish and fries were lukewarm. We returned the food and got our money back. The room was as cold inside as outside. Also, I've noticed that they use the word lukewarm a lot in this area. Awful, awful, awful! I love Long John Silver's food from my time in Queensbury. Was excited to try it here. First thing is, I went around 11.30, so I figured it'd be fresh. Food was disgusting. The batter was so overcooked and rubbery, it was hard to eat. And the fries were the same. Not to mention, there was no sauce. I didn't know you had to ask for tartar sauce for fish. The outside isn't any better. The drive th the drive through you pull in the lot. Go right around in the back to order. I ordered my food and pulled up. There's nothing that says where we're the window is. Obviously, it's the one that opens, but very confusing at first. What? It's really too bad because I'm fat and I like fried food. I didn't read that one all the way through before. Worst fast food I have ever tried. It didn't help that the workers there had a stink attitude. Uh, I hate stink attitudes. One star. Went there for KFC. I ordered the $10. Nine piece. Wait, I'm sorry. I got to put more pause on it. Went there for the KFC. I ordered the $10. Nine piece tenders. The girl only put six in the bucket. And I was looking right at her doing it. I asked her how many were in the bucket. She lied and said nine. When I opened it and counted it in front of her, she walked away? Another lady came over, didn't say a thing, just took it and put three more the size of a grape. She was rude as well. I will never go back there again. Even had a problem with Long John Silver. Order months before it should have known better! <gasps> Ah! Many exclamations. One star. First, the fish was cold. Then they refried a different piece so it was hot, but was also hard as a rock and stunk like old grease. I got my money back and saved myself a trip to the ER. Thanks for wasting my lunch hour. Dude, you're wasting your own lunch hour by going to Long John Silver's. One star. This place sucks. Getting right to the point. One star, full of ants, avoid at all costs. One star, why does this place exist? I don't know, man, no one knows. It's just old, it's a cult of old people. One star, run, run, run! Extremely dirty, understaffed, and the food was so greasy, it got me sick, frown. One star, translated by Google, it's really dirty and expensive and expensive. Two star, the fish seemed like it was in the fryer all day. On top of that, the menu simply says, fish. I couldn't really tell what I was eating and end up not finishing the meal. Two stars. I don't like the fish. The shrimp fries and coleslaw was good, but I only went for the fish. Imagine living like near the coast and then eating Long John Silver's. Two stars. Of all the LJS's in the world, it's the worst. But he still gave it two stars. That's a pretty bold claim. And to still give it two stars. Just saying. Three stars. Long John Silver's is good, but Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips was much, much better. I don't know what Arthur Treacher is. But I bet it is, honestly. Like, three stars. Slow service. Sticky tables. I had to clean the area myself. Chicken, very dry, dark. And not very temperature-wise hot. That, that somehow was not translated. Three stars. Too greasy? But so far, the food is decent. So far it is. 
Uh, did they write this midway through their meal? Like, I guess I must have. Four stars. Usually love it all, but this time my steak was fatty and didn't care for the cauliflower. Barely cook. Because of past experiences, I will go back. Everyone has a bad day, I guess. What restaurant did you go to? Because I do not think uh, Long John Silver says steak and cauliflower. Considering they had literally the most unhealthy fast food meal in America. Four stars. Cashier forgot napkins. Ah! Doesn't you- Oh, I Sorry, I think this is supposed to be in a Scottish accent. Let me start that over. Four stars. Cashier forgot napkins. Ah! Doesn't you- Doesn't you get kind of angry when the cashier thinks you licks and laps your fingers? Fingers. Yeah, because we couldn't figure that word out. And wipe off the waste on your clothes. Especially, especially when you're on the long trip and on interstate. And there is not any turning back because you had somewhere you got to be. And you don't have extra time going back for to get the napkins. Shit. Well, now that I got out, the food was cooked well and was good. I had the six ninety nine fish and chicken combo side of fries and lemonade with no ice, please. It's it's killed enough out of the fountain. Maybe I'm wrong, but this feels like it's trying too hard to be like the Scotch. Also, I just why do Scottish people type out their accent like a like? I feel like Scottish is the only accent I've seen typed out differently. Four stars. Not too many around. Too bad. Fish and chicken are delicious in the hush puppies. Don't care if the food is fried and a little greasy. It's good once in a while. Four stars. Wish Patrol store was still there. You still get four stars though, so... I guess you don't miss it that much. Five stars. This restaurant is my first choice place. I'm sorry. Of all restaurants I know, I favor it most. Okay, this has to be a joke, right? I always suggest to my friends to go to the place. You must not have very many friends then. When... I feel like having a proper supper. This restaurant immediately comes to mind. This is definitely satire. I can't. Splendid and varied food and a rich menu. <laughs> Splendid. Oh, that's not a word that's used enough. Professional crew and pleasant vibes. And very important, the price is decent. I recommend this spot with no doubt. This gotta be a joke. I'm just, just, just feels like, if Long John Silver's is your favorite fast food restaurant, let me know in the comments. Like genuinely, I want to know. Actually, everyone, try to find someone who likes Long John Silver's and then show them, show them this. I guess I don't know. Five stars. The best fresh fish at the best possible price. Which many locations in Long Island? That was one location. Next up is uh. Vale's Gate? I don't know. I think that's like a suburb of some bigger city that I don't recognize. One star. Never go late. Best not to waste your money. Long John Silver's is definitely one of my favorite places to go for fast food. However, going to the location around 89 and 99 is a bad idea. We stopped drinking because we were both hungry and pushing 99. That was too late to cook. We ordered two piece fish and six shrimp flour. The first issue I had was received my 1365 chain of coins being told they had no bills in store. <laughs> The second look past the rest of the experience was not so bad. We had to wait a good 15 to 20 minutes for our order. Well, I thought, well, dang, that guy who waited 12 minutes got nothing on this. I thought, well, I don't mind waiting for fresh food. I thought that's the case. Once we're in the car, check a bag, two or five and get them the problem. Then we don't find it. Not only was the shrimp old and hard, we see only three shrimp, 50 yelled, and all the fish is not as very hard as well. At least I don't think I'll be going along until not, getting, not for quite a while. The whole experience is rooted for me. Yes. One star. Very rude. Insisting I wear a mask when the guy sitting down behind me isn't. The cook isn't, and she's got one on not covering her nose or top lip. Kinda sounds like the restaurant's a problem, and maybe you should leave. I kinda was like, oh yeah, they, they can't believe they made, they made me wear a mask. Like, if they're not wearing a mask, then you should leave. I know um, this is probably a rural community, so you're not gonna wear a mask either, because you, know, you know, you don't consider other people. Oh, this review's from LJS. Two stars, been here a few times. Can be quite good, or fish can be excessively greasy. Last time it was terrible, greasy, overcooked, and inedible. Not the most LJS that seemed to be more consistent quality. I come back since it's the only one in area. It's like playing Russian roulette in the food quality. As Forrest Gump might say, LJS in New Windsor is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Grade C minus slash D plus. Two stars, taste frozen and frostbitten. Didn't taste like fresh fish. Crumbly and wet and not dry flaky. So it's wet flaky? Ugh. Wet flaky sounds really bad. Uh, two stars, brief news report like current events local news. Uh, what? Three stars. Well, not great. It was Kentucky Fried Chicken as Long John Silver. I think the chicken place was better, but I had fish and chip. Just one chip. Five stars. The food was off the hizzock. Snoop Dogg would munch here, munch, munch there 420 all day, my fellow African Americans. I have a hunch. Five stars. The food is always good, but they have the nicest group of young people working there. 
People are quick to complain, but slow to praise. They always go out of their way to be pleasant. The crew that worked on Sunday at 415 was especially nice. Now, this one's Hudson. <sighs> one star. Awful. LJS has been my favorite fast food for 45 years. It's so difficult to find locations anymore, and they're always special trips. Yikes. Sun-dried feel mice and <laughs> straw would have been better than this old overcooked hard as a rock chicken fish and fries meal. I would have waited for them to cook fresh instead of reheating pri reheating pieces that must have been prepared hours or days earlier. I will be reporting to corporate. Response from the owner. Chris, let's make up for this. If you could please send us an email with details about your visit and your contact information, we'll have a vet manager follow up with you. One start. The first thing that hit us when we walked through the door was the sewage smell. It was awful and really strong. Then we ordered 12 items and six of them were screwed up. They didn't give us three of our items and one of them they had to refund our money because it turns out they didn't even have it. A couple items tasted good, others were okay, and the rest actually sucked. Pretty sure we'll never go to this location again. Gross! One star. Couldn't get out of my bathroom for toad for toe days after eating there, uh, their food overcooked. One star. Long John Silverfish was very greasy. Waited five minutes to take out container at the counter. The older lady with glasses walked past me at least five times and ignored me. She was no more than a foot away from me when she walked by. One girl was counting a cash drawer with her back to me. An older guy working there also ignored me. He definitely saw me. I even said, maybe I should climb on the counter and get my own. No response. Ing. The girl counting the drawer less than two feet from me. Do no, nobody was online in the restaurant. Maybe the e drive-in was full. The one guy who was making food closest to me helped me and was super polite. One star. Sodium was terrible. One star, never been there. It's always gotta be one of these guys. Never been there, never seen it, never had it, never played it, never done it. One star, don't eat here. Very quick to the point there, I like it. Two stars, it was okay, my fries and chicken were luke warm. The service was good and the staff friendly, but food was mediocre. Two stars, mess up our order when eating and we eating in and they put it, a, put it in a to-go bag. The table we sat at was sticky. Rocky, this is unacceptable. Please send details that way. Is that a different email than from before? Yep, it is. Two stars. The food was too well done. This, I don't know why I read it. That makes it seem like it's too good. But I know it's like it's too cooked. But whatever. Three stars. I prefer the frozen drinks. Skittles is okay, but like the orange better. What? I've had better fish. Some pieces come out with batter thick and more appealing. Today's came out very thin. Not as appealing, but taste good. Three stars. Or service is important. Please send details of your visit to. There's like so many of these that just like. It's like three stars. Uh, here's another one. Jean Marie, thanks for reaching out to us. If you could please send us an email with details about your visit and your contact information. We have a manager follow up with you. Can you imagine just leaving a. Re like actually. Fuck. Up. They left a three-star view. I don't think they want to follow up. Here's another one. And another one. Another one. Four stars. A bit far away. It's located in Hudson, New York. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> this one actually made me genuinely laugh the first time. Like, I did It's not even... It's just... It's just a fact. It's a bit far away. It's located in Hudson, New York. Thank you, Michael. Yes. Four star. Actually, it was Taco Bell, not Long Silvet. They are same store. Four star. Thank you. Okay, two of them, two Fuji's have four stars and say thank you, but this one has four stars and says thank you with an exclamation point. So I'm not sure what about that review was more. Five stars. My boyfriend and I came here about a, once a month because it's a 45 minute drive. But what can I say? Great customer service and great hot, fresh food keep us coming back, and it's sad it's the only one open in the whole area. But hey, when you know what you like, Katie, we're so happy you're able to make your experience great. We'll pass this along to the team. And last one, maybe least, yeah. Five stars, Tasty. But wait, there's more. That's right, I squeezed in a bonus location on, in Oneida, New York. I don't know how it's pronounced. But uh, there was a lot more of good reviews. I'm good. There's a lot more funny reviews than I thought there'd be. So let's go. One star. Very disappointed in the food quality. Came in at 5.30 p.m. on Friday night. Food was cold, fish was burnt, and everything was old. I have had this issue before, but want to support local businesses during this time? 
Um, excuse me, if you think Long John Silver's is a local business, you need to have your head bashed in with a hammer. Earl, we wanted to make things right between us. If you could please email blah, blah, blah. One star. Unfortunately, I have to give this one star. Even though it's not worth even one star, we are traveling in our camper too high to, to go through the drive through Okay. Dip ass. I walked in the lobby. No one was in the dining room. Obviously, the COVID has it closed. I had my mask on and was told by the staff the dying area is closed. I told them I know. I have a camper too tall to go through the drive through They again told me I couldn't be in there. So I said, okay, thank you, and left. No one offered to accommodate our situation. Maybe take the order and let me wait outside. I knew what we were going to order. I am very disappointed with the lack of decent service. So here we are inside McDonald's with our masks and getting our... Order taken by smart individuals who can figure stuff out. I will never recommend Long John Silver's Inonids, as they don't care if you get your business or not. Very disappointed. And then, of course, another generic response from the owner. Also, they clearly had their rules set out. I think you're in the wrong here. So, you know. Also, of course, your camper's too tall to go through. I'm gonna have to side. I'm gonna, for once, I'm gonna have to side with the Long John Silvers in that. Yeah, they can tell you to leave if they want. It's fun fact, corporate restaurants usually do not care if they miss out on one person's business. Also, Long John Silvers is going on business anyway, so like. Can't go in and order food and take out like other restaurants? Why? When it, everyone like us and they are grandma is already wearing a mask? Jeez! My family just has to take our business elsewhere! I love the idea that the franchise will care about them. Like, oh, boo-hoo, I can't get takeout from Long John Silver's, dude. One star. Can't put zero stars. Slow service. Worst food. Very bad. One star. The food tastes like Taco Bell, and the Taco Bell tastes like fish. <laughs> One star. It was greasy as hell. The fries were so hard, couldn't eat them. However, the coleslaw was good. I will never go back there. Turn on a dime there. One star. Is this one still open? Two stars. Salty, and I like salt. Two stars. How does Taco Bell run out mild sauce and Baja Blast at the same damn time? Long John Silver's is bread called fish. <sighs> they have to do better. Two stars. It was cold on a winter day inside. I looked and there was some fries. I'm trying to write a poem in the style of Robert Frost. Is that the name of the guy? Or maybe it was... Mr. Jost. Two stars. Not worth the trip from Syracuse. No shit. I don't think it's worth the trip from anywhere. Two stars. Rose, service is important. Please send details, okay? Food seems really salty. Would never order anything from there again. Three stars. Quick stop for lunch. Three stars. Translated by Google. Eh. Original. Eh. Bonus round of service is important. Four stars, price is good and good and is always good. I always get seafood, wish they had one in Rome. Five stars, great food, great prices. I've always loved eating at LJS. I'm very happy that Oneida has one. I always eat at LJS and Oneida once a week and sometimes twice. I can't get enough of the place. It blows me really fast too. Thanks again, Billy. And we do it all for you. It's one of their generic responses. Hot, fresh, and delicious. I've always loved LJS growing up in the South. And there aren't many in Syracuse, New York. This was a real treat for me. The servers were also very nice and brought the food out to us. Five stars. Drive 90 minutes every year for my husband's birthday to get Long John's. It's his all-time favorite, and that's the only one in central New York. Leanne, we love you too. And our generic response. Gotta love him. Also, that's a really sad birthday tradition. Five stars. Very pleasant young lady. Served us and was very patient. With my messed up CC, drove here from Syracuse as part of my birthday cheer. Five stars. Wish they still had a Long John Silver in Syracuse. Long way to come before fish. Us too. So they actually read that one. Or they get enough reviews that say wish they had blank because there's another one that says well, I wish there was one in Utica. Us too! I guess they're a bit more excited for Utica. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know if I got them all. We feel the love. Five stars. Hi, Ashley. We feel the love. That doesn't feel like a proper way to end it. I'm gonna go find him. Next time on New York Long John Silver's Reviews. One of the worst places to eat in Glens Falls. It took 10 to 15 minutes to the drive through and then the food wasn't fresh. The fries was lump, grease-soaked, and cold. Old and stale. I want to try and find someone, if there's anyone out there who likes Long John Silver's, and see what they think of this video, you know? 
Um, subscribe and like and made it this far. The better this video does, the more I'll incentivize part two. Also, I, you know what? I've started working on an Ocean Man rap, and once the channel hits a thousand subs, I'll release it no matter what state it's in. I also think I might do some kind of like ploy in December to get more subscribers where like, oh, if I get this many, I'll do this. Follow Ocean Man Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description. Uh, and I will see you for more New York Long John Silver's reviews.